Let's go. This is your life boy today and today is Wednesday the 10th day of May 2023 a very beautiful day a special day special day in my family because one of us is uh, a year older today happy birthday Tireni Olua may the Lord continue to bless you in Jesus name this is your life boy today talking about steadfastness amid challenges very interesting steadfastness amid challenges and i pray for you wherever you may be on the surface of the earth whatever challenges you may be facing yes you whoever you are i pray that the lord will take you over those challenges in jesus name let's go read from the scriptures we'll be reading from the first epistle of paul to the thessalonians in chapter 3 today and if you are set Let's go very quickly. Therefore, when we could bear it no longer, we were willing to be left behind at Athens alone. And we sent Timothy, our brother and God's servant in the gospel of Christ, to establish you in your faith and to exhort you that no one be moved by these afflictions. You yourselves know that this is to be a lot for when we were with you we told you beforehand that we were to suffer afflictions just as it has come to pass and as you know for this reason when I could bear it no longer I sense that I might not know your faith for fear that somehow the tempter had tempted you and that our labor would be in vain but now that Timothy has come to us from you and has brought us the good news of your faith and love and reported that you always remember us kindly and long to see us as we long to see you. For this reason, brethren, in all our distress and affliction, we have been comforted about you through your faith. For now we live if you stand fast in the Lord. For what thanksgiving can we render to God for you, for all the joy which we feel for your sake before our God, praying earnestly night and day that we might see you face to face and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way to you and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love to one another and to all men as we do to you so that he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before our god and father at the coming of our lord jesus with all his saints this is the word of the lord thanks be to god we are discussing steadfastness amidst challenges and we are in a situation of challenges virtually all over the world right now. Russia is still attacking Ukraine. I don't know why people call it a war between Ukraine and Russia. And then you know that uh, hitherto compatriots are also fighting one another in Sudan. The banditry has started again in Nigeria. 
kidnapping has been resumed armed robbery is now going on again well, fraud had always been there election rigging just part of us there like that and if you're not careful these challenges may just be too much for you to stand firm in the faith and that will be coupled with all the sufferings that the masses are now made to suffer naira is still not yet in circulation in nigeria electricity is hardly there the roads are bad there are rumors that uh, electricity tariffs will go up again uh, fuel is not there for for you to buy into your vehicles if you manage to buy uh, cash at all uh, yes i said buy cash you know and those are challenges that one would face from time to time but you must still be steadfast in the lord amidst all these challenges that is what stands you out this is what paul wrote about the thessalonians and this was what he was asking them to continue to do to stand firm in the faith in spite of challenges and i pray for you that you will not be tempted beyond what you can stand firm and walk against with the holy spirit working in your inner man today and always i pray in jesus name well you need to be in christ for you to be able to stand firm and be steadfast against challenges so i invite you right now come give your life to christ are you set for that experience you say this prayer say lord i come to you right now have mercy upon me i want to give my life to you i want to be steadfast amidst challenges therefore forgive me of all the sins of the past take me as one of yours from today i pray in jesus name amen well if you just said that prayer welcome to the faith you need to find a bible believing church where you can grow in the faith and remain steadfast amidst challenges i always recommend that you join us in the anglican church or the PS extension of Shobo. today uh is um, a day that you can make up your mind about that next sunday you will join us nine o'clock in the morning for our midweek services and on tuesdays you can join us for our midweek services i'm sure i must have told you that for now we are still worshiping in the chapel hall of the olive branches middle and high schools when you come and go kill me but we drive with the ksl extension machine. but you must be seeing an account detail on the screen right now drop something there Together we'll be able to build that purpose-built church building. We will be steadfast amidst all the challenges, financial and other challenges that we may face there. And together, one day, we'll complete it and put the capstone and shout hallelujah, glory. Now, as you go today, say this prayer. Say, Father, help me and other brethren to be steadfast in you amidst the challenges of life. In Jesus' name, amen. So go out today, remain steadfast amidst the challenges of life, and it will be well with you. God bless you. you